Talk to us about the strategy that you employ to get 13 properties in one year, because it can be overwhelming for someone, okay. right? So one is refinancing the property, right? Yes. Where refinancing basically means that you bought a property for 100, the value now is sitting at 200, you refinance to get the equity portion of that deal. 100,000. 100,000, right? Yes. You use that 100,000 to do the same thing that you've done. So mm -hmm. that's, that's strategy number one, right? Yes. Number two is doing no money down deals. Yeah. So yeah. for example, I find a property, the bank, the, 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 the valuation is 100. The bank says, we're going to give you 80 rand, right? Then yes. I get the seller, which is called the seller financing, the mm -hmm. seller to take on the 20. So the banks mm -hmm. will give me the 80. Mm -hmm. I pay back. So I get my bond. I get it transferred. And then the seller, I'm going to pay him in installments on the 20,000. Yeah. Okay. So I still didn't put any of my money in. Then yeah. what do I do? Because I've done my research and understand the market well, I find Kojo to come and stay there. Mm. Kojo is yes. going to pay me deposit. Remember, mm. deposit yes. is not my money, but yeah, I can keep the deposit. When yes. I get the deposit, I've made an arrangement with the seller that I can give you a down payment of a thousand rand. Kojo gave yeah. me that thousand rand. I give it to the yeah. seller. Yeah. Yes. You start paying then, the seller. And then, and then every month I say to the seller, I'm going to give you 250. The mm. bank wants a thousand. Kojo is giving me 1.5. I give the seller 250 for the next six months or for the next 12 months. I pocket my 250. Yes. So when people are listening and the reason why I have fearful investors in, in my mentorship is that people say, who's going to say yes to that? How do you how do you put measures in place so that the seller does get his money? How do you safeguard and manage the risk of, of that relationship? How is that money going to come out in real terms? How do you do a seller agreement? Because when you tell people about it, they look at you like glazed eyes. How do you, how do you risk proof your agreement? Excellent question, Lisa. That's, that's a good question. So before we even mm -hmm. talk about agreement, what is agreement? Agreement is basically, even though we sign in a paper, it's can I trust you? That's the agreement. The first agreement is can I trust you, right? So how do you get the person to trust you? You need to have integrity. You need mm -hmm. to be honest, right? The second thing, instead of thinking about fear, think about creation. You need to think of creating. Use that gold mind. The mind is there for us to think. The only mm. thing that, mm. right? So, so, so that's one. Create honesty. Be um, loyal or be honest to your word. Because remember, when you do the first deal, and I'll tell you how I did the 13 deals. Mm. I've only used an agent once in my life. That was buying my first property. Mm. All the other properties that I have have been direct contact. Okay. Or some, some carpenter, somebody I know taking me to a guy to go do a deal. The people okay. that people don't respect are the people that yeah. make us the empire, that help us grow our empire. Respect uh, everyone that you meet in life irrespective even if the person portrays himself as a mad person, respect that person because that person is a human being. And if you can get that registered in your head, you will make a lot of money. Okay. Right? So, so, so once you've done that, obviously you need to put papers together, but the paper is basically, I'm going to give you X amount. I can do this. This is my salary. This is my pay slip. It shows that I'm getting X amount of money every month. So I can pay you that money, but I don't have the bulk money now to give you. Mm -hmm. If you want, I can even go further to get my employer to put that money as a debit order, or I'll give you a stop order as a guarantee. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's every single order. month, when I get my salary on the, on the, on the 20th of that month, 
On the mm. 21, that payment has gone out. Yeah. The person is getting his consistent check and you know what's going to happen. The person is going to start referring a lot of people to you because they can trust you. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Relationships, right? Relationships. But did your lawyers put anything together and in place? To be honest, I never used a lawyer for this. Okay. okay. Again. And I mean, just the power of relationships is like that, right? But, but we had a contract. Again, no. I bought a contract, a South African contact, contract online, not the one from CNA. At law firms sell contracts. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. 